Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another talk through makeup tutorial. I hope it's not so long. I try to keep it short and sweet, but short and sweet means like 15 minutes for me. So I hope this video is not too long. Um, like I said, I will be getting better in this talk through tutorials because on my last video you guys really really loved the talk throughs and you told me that you wanted some more so of course I'll be bringing you more talk through makeup tutorials and if you guys want to know how I achieved this simple smoky no not smoky simple vampy makeup look I would call it maybe and if you want to know how I achieved it then please keep on watching okay you guys let's get started with this makeup look as always I've already primed my face using the Nivea Men aftershave balm really good and um, like I mentioned I had this acne uh, breakout or reaction a couple months ago and I actually hadn't been using this for maybe two months before that so um, I know some people are saying that that is what might have caused my acne but I actually wasn't using it like even if you check back on the videos oh excuse if you hear noise or cars or whatever I have my window open because it's a bit chilly out today so the fresh air really helps me not boil in here it's so hot obviously I have literally like three lights so um, it's really cloudy outside but it is like I said a bit chilly so I don't want there to um, I don't want you to guys think that, or I, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say that if you do hear a noise, it's because I have my window open, that's it. Um, I just apply some Fix Plus all over my face, um, just to also help my makeup last longer. And for foundation today, I have been trying to finish this one from MAC, and this one's in the shade NC20, and I've been really liking it. Um, I stopped using it because I, I use the Pro Longwear instead of the Studio Fix. And this one is just really nice and not as matte because the pearl long wear it's really uh, for oily skin like mine but like I said we are in the winter so I'm a little bit drier than usual in the summer I'm a grease ball I swear so I'm gonna apply an amazing thick layer um, again like I said I do have that acne scars from the Nivea aftershave balm and I do want to uh, cover them as always on the neck never ever ever forget the neck and now someone's house is on fire great obviously when I start to film literally like everything happens like I swear so now I'm just gonna blend this foundation out with my damp beauty blender I might need a little more foundation because I like a lot of foundation especially to have a nice canvas on my skin um, so yeah, if you check back on my videos for the Nivea Aftershave Balm, uh, you'll see that I wasn't using it because I actually ran out and I didn't use it for like two or three months. So it was a really long while, so I can guarantee you that that wasn't it. My thoughts on that, I think it was just something hormonal. I, I don't know. I never even went to the doctors. I don't know if I had, I should have gone to the doctors. I don't know. But I didn't. Uh, but it went away and then now obviously I get the occasional zit when I'm getting my period or or something but honestly I don't really know now for concealer I'll be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit um, this stuff is really drying on my skin so I really need to add some oil like beauty oils I'm gonna use the pixie rose oil blend nourishing face oil so I'm gonna add a little bit, like literally, let me show you guys. I'm gonna add one little drop on each of the concealer shades. And then with the same brush that I used for my foundation, I'm just gonna mix all of the three shades, more of the yellow shade, because I really love the yellow concealer, like the undertone. And then I'm just going to apply that underneath the eyes, just to cover the dark circles a little bit better. I also like to apply that on the eyelids to cover the uh, veins or discoloration or whatever I might have on them and this also serves me as um, an eyeshadow base 
so when I apply my eyeshadows they don't crease or break or budge because the, the concealer prevents creases too, right? So it works really well as an eyeshadow base. You can use an eyeshadow base if you like. And then I'm just gonna apply that on some of the other areas that I actually uh, wanna balance out the highlight. And like I said, if it wasn't for the beauty oils, I wouldn't be able to use this contour kit because I find it so drying, so muddy. So that's why I love applying some um, beauty oil to the product just to nourish it a little bit to smooth it out and to just sheer it out as well because like I said it's so thick and like muddy so and you never hear me complaining about thick products because I love my full coverage it's just that even this it's so hard to like blend it out so that's why I do this step and as always just gonna blend that in with my damp beauty blender <laughs> Now with the Taylor Blue Highlighting and Contour Palette, I'll mix all the top three shades and then just lightly pat that right on the areas that I apply my concealer. And then not so much on the outer contour of the face, mainly on the D-zone, because those are, those are the areas that I usually get oily. And then the, the outer contours of the face, we're gonna set them with bronzer and highlight and blush and all of that. So it's not really that important that I set that area because eventually when I apply those products, they ended up setting it because they are powder products. So that's another way to prevent your makeup from getting cakey from adding so many layers on top of layers. So now with the same palette and a dry beauty blender, if I can find one near me, I'm blind, it was right in front of me. I love to do this trick, you guys know, and if you don't, well now you do. It is, again, with the same mix of the three powders, I just focus the mix right on the areas that I applied the concealer. Am I? Yeah, my mic is on. I have to make sure that my mic is on, because sometimes I start filming and I'm not even recording. Okay, so just gonna focus this, or like maybe just on this area, like on the T-zone because I want it to be nice and smooth and this gives you like a really nice uh, finish, like porcelain finish and it gives you a little bit more coverage. Like I said, I'm never complaining about coverage. Um, now for concealer, uh, bronzer. Should I bronze up my face yet? No, I won't bronze up my face. I'll move on to the eye makeup. Like I said, we have set that and primed that with some concealer and then powder. Or I said that backwards. I Whatever, you guys know what I mean. I'm just going to keep it really, really, really simple, you guys. Like super simple. What I'm going to do is the same contour palette from Hot Mess. I'll just use this big fluffy brush. And I'm, use all, I'm gonna use all the three bronzers and I'm gonna start applying that right on the outer crease of the eye. Let me uh, bring you guys in a little closer. Much better. So as you can see, I'm gonna add a little bronze to the crease of the eye just to add a little bit more depth. Now I'm gonna be using the NYX Jumbo Pen in Milk, which is super tiny. I have the full size. It's just on my other makeup vanity, so this one will do for now. It's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna apply this all over the lids, and this is going to be kind of a base for the eyeshadow that I'm gonna apply. Once I finish applying that, I'm just gonna blend it out with the tips of my fingers, just so that it's not so chunky, I guess you would say. And then using the Kat Von D Metal Palette, oh my gosh, you guys. You have no idea how many looks I've created with this. It's such an amazing palette. This is in the shade, I'm gonna pick up Glitz, which is a nice, beautiful uh, baby pink eyeshadow, and it's like a nice shimmery one too. But with the NYX Jumbo Pen underneath, because it's really like white, it's gonna maybe make it look even more whiter than pink. So as you can see, it's looking more of a white eyeshadow rather than the baby pink, but that is only because of the base that I have. But if I didn't apply a base, I would have just, uh, it would have looked a little bit baby pink. So I'm just gonna apply that all over the areas that I applied um, the jumbo pen. And you know what, I'm also going to, and I did, it, I did that with the tips of my fingers, like I said, I don't have any nails. So I can honestly reach so many areas of my eyes now and I can use my fingers a lot because I actually love using my fingers for my makeup or my hands, my face. I'm also going to apply glitz right on the um, 
tear duct area and then sometimes I do get some like right in the eyeball so like right in the tear duct like and I, I don't want it to be uh, to look like it's like boogers or like eye boogers or anything so I always get a q-tip and I clean the tear duct with the same palette I'll be using this velvet eyeshadow with oak it's a nice burgundy and oh almost the, cl the color of my shirt look at that and oak is a nice rich brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to focus this mix right on the outer V just to add a little bit more depth onto the eye I want to keep the eyes really simple because I want the main focus to be the lips so I'm just gonna buff that in in round mush motions 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 more like or a windshield like and then the round motions now I'm going to use the NYC liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to do my wing and um, I'm not going to talk while I do this. <laughs> So you guys, I'm debating whether or not I should put some nude liner on the bottom waterline or should I use black? I'm going to use black just to change it up because I want to, I'm dying to use nude. So I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs, um, what is this? This is a sample that I got on my uh, birthday kit last year and honestly look how tiny it is. And not only that, um, it's really good and I've used it literally for a year. And look how long the samples lasted me. And it's almost my birthday again. And literally in three weeks, I turned 23 on March 20th. And then now I'm just going to use my mascara from Maybelline, the Falsies Volume Express. And I'll apply some mascara on my upper and lower lashes. For lashes today, I'll be using the 251 Mega Volumes from Ardell with the duo adhesive and this one is in dark tone which just means it dries black now that the eyes are finished i'll be using mac give me sun and i'm just gonna bronze up the cheeks a little bit just because the powders give her face a really flat looking surface so like it raises our features like our shadows so we're just gonna bring them back by applying some bronzer. Now for blush, I'll be using this one from the Urban Decay Flush Naked Palette. It has a little blush, bronzer, and a pink highlight, but I don't really like the highlight as much because it's way too pink for a highlight. So most of the times I just use it, um, I mix it with my blush just to make my blush mineralized. It's already mineralized, but it just makes it more mineralized, if you know what I mean. So once I apply the blush for highlight, I'll be using the Ofra Rodeo Drive. For first, as always, I set my face and eat the MAC Fix Plus. <laughs> it tastes really good though oh my gosh don't listen to me I'm such a bad influence I don't know why people follow me <laughs> oh <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the uh, Ofra Rodeo Drive and I'm just gonna apply that on my usual areas which are the highest point of the cheeks and then like I said I like to mix the highlight with the cheeks like to make the cheeks more mineralized because I love dewy finish now when you know that I would be saying that because I always wanted my matte skin because I'm really oily and then I'm just going to apply that on the cupid's bow and then right on the center of the forehead. I like to apply a little bit of highlight too on the nose um, and a smaller, denser brush. This one is the Urban Decay brush that comes in the Naked 2 palette. I'll just apply that on the tip of the nose, the bridge of the nose, and I'm going to do that on the um, cupid's bow as well. And then I'm also going to apply this Rodeo Drive on the highest point of my eyebrow, on the arch, just to balance out all the highlight that we have going on. And then once I apply my highlight, I like to go over with the stippling brush. Again, I said it was from uh, Walmart and it's from the brand Still. And I extremely recommend this brand, you guys. 
amazing brushes. Trust me. And they're very affordable too. So now I'm going to do a nose contour. And for that, I'll be using my usual uh, contour palette from Taylor Blue. Uh, not Taylor Blue, Hot Mess. And this one is with um, Taylor Blue. Or it says Taylor Blue by Hot Mess. Who knows what that means? It's, this is a, a UK brand. Um, and to be honest, they just sent me this bronzer. I just found it on my P.O. box. Like, they never said, hey, we're let use it, nothing. I just um, found it on the P.O. box. It was abandoned for like months. And then I found it when I was moving. So I um, I started to use it and it's really, really, really good, you guys. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I'm amazed and I actually like it better than the Anastasia one, which is crazy. Now for the lips, I'll be lining them with Vino by MAC. And again, I'm going to need a little mirror because it's... It's 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 very far my mirror, so I don't really I want to do this carefully because I have really big lips and I don't like to overline because then I look like massive huge sausage allergic reaction lips. So I like to keep it really natural when I'm wearing very dark lipsticks because I already have a big mouth, big lips, and thick, 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 and of course all natural. Sorry Kylie Jenner, all natural. I paid zero dollars for this. Thank you, mom, so much. Thank you, really. It's funny because when I was younger, I wasn't bullied, but I was always like made fun of having big lips and big eyes. And now here it is, a big Kylie Jenner paying thousands, if not millions of dollars for thick lips like mine. Hmm, who knew? So once I've lined my lips with Vino, it's not the exact color that I, I want, but this is the darkest uh, lip liner I own. So um, it's just gonna be a nice base for when I apply my lipstick because today is really dark. And this one is Damned from, uh, by Kat Von D. And uh, this helped me uh, not overline my lips and give me that crisp lipstick line. And um, I really like this lipstick, it's so nice. So now we're just gonna let this lipstick dry just so that it mattifies and that you guys get the full on original color because right now it's not as dark, but eventually it will be dark. So yeah. <laughs> so this is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, I'll see you in my next tutorial very soon. <laughs> Take two. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, I'll see you in my next tutorial very soon. Bye-bye.